Hello, I'm Dr. Wei Zhou from Stanford University, and this is the Society of Vascular Surgery briefing on carotid artery stenting. Stroke is the third most common cause of death in the U.S., and carotid artery disease is the most common cause of stroke. In the recent years, carotid stenting has become an alternative for patients who are high risk for surgery. Carotid stenting is a procedure in which a stent is delivered and expanded inside of the carotid artery to increase blood flow in the areas blocked by plaque. It is only indicated for patients with severe blockage. Not all patients are candidate for stenting. Patients with complete blocked carotid arteries, a very tortuous artery, or a recent history of intracranial bleeding are not suitable for stenting. At this present time, Carotid stenting is FDA approved for treating high risk symptomatic patients with over 60% blockage. It is also approved for treating asymptomatic patients who are high risk for more than 80% blockage. High risk patients refer to those with severe cardiopulmonary disease, patients with recent blockage following carotid interventions, prior neck set dissection or radiation all those patients with a plaque that are not easily accessible by surgery. Carotid stenting is not without complications. Elder patient, diabetic patient, and symptomatic patients are at higher risk. Multiple clinical studies have shown that carotid stenting has either similar or higher complication rate than surgery. However, there are still considerable controversies. Currently, a large NIH-sponsored clinical trials is still ongoing. These multi-centered trials is expected to provide more information on carotid interventions. Another common concern of carotid stenting is long-term durability. Although severe ray stenosis is relatively rare, moderate ray stenosis is not uncommon. Patients with severe ray stenosis may need to go undergo another interventions. Therefore, it is extremely important to be vigilant in follow-up with your doctors after carotid stenting. Only physicians who can perform both carotid surgery and stenting are able to provide patients with objective opinion of best treatment. Therefore, vascular surgeons are in the best position to offer you an unbiased advice. As a patient, you should give the opportunity of considering all therapeutic options and be able to choose the best treatment option. This briefing has been made possible by an educational grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.